On Friday, this was the scene when I woke up, but there was good news. There's new releases of baseball cards, 2018 Topps Holiday and also 2018 Topps Gallery. So I'm headed to Walmart right now. I'll bring you along with me and we will pick up a box of Gallery. Supposedly these came out on Tuesday or Wednesday, but I've been going every day to Walmart to find these. And finally on Friday, they were put out. You can see this is the master box, and there's two guaranteed autos. I'm going to take it home and open it up for you. I just got back from Walmart, and I picked up this brand new release, 2018 Topps Gallery. It is only available at Walmart. They sell it in blaster box form. These um, mega box uh, formats, which, by the way, have two autograph cards per box and i think i also saw some packs there this was i think this was 79.99 or something like that um but the good thing is there's a grand total of 100 cards 20 packs and this is the big selling point two autograph cards per box so we're definitely getting some autographs today the other release that came out this week tops holiday has a guaranteed autograph or relic but it is much more relic heavy than autograph approximately you have to buy 30 boxes to get an autograph i figured out so we are going to have some luck today with some autos let's get right to it this box is pretty big you can see this is a, a baseball card right there so i mean it's pretty large there was only two boxes in the entire display so i bought one of them and i left the other one um, for somebody else to buy I'm sure these are going to be a pretty in-demand item, uh, especially for serious collectors that like their autographs. All right, so let me just get this open. I have it cut and pulled off. So here we go. Two autograph cards per box. I'd be interested to see if they are in the packs or if they have like a special um, hot pack in here with the autos in it. This is actually my first ever time buying Topps Gallery. All right, so there's all the packs. There's nothing else inside, so I'm just going to throw the box aside. And there are five cards per pack, 20 packs. So let's lay all these out here on the table. It'll be like a little background for you as I open these up. All right, before I start ripping these open, I always usually show you the odds. Uh, there are the odds in case... You want to pause it and take a look at that. Also, if you want to send in a 3x5 note card to that address there and try to win something, you could also do that. All right, let's go. First pack of 20. Looking for some autographs. So I'm going to open these pretty carefully because I do not want to ruin my autograph. Uh, Justin Upton leads things off, and then a Chris Stratton rookie card. And all of these were, oh nice, Mike Trout. All these were drawn by two artists. I forget the names of them. I think one was Sato, and I can't remember the other name. Uh, but you can see there are some throwbacks in this set. David Ortiz and also a Lou Brock, uh, Hall of Fame Gallery. Not a bad pack, though, with Trout, Ortiz, and Brock. Second pack, by the way, I'm doing a case break coming up next week i'm gonna put that on sale tonight i usually put them on sale on saturdays but i just never got around to it yesterday uh, we're gonna break 2018 chronicles that's a nice 1952 tops design trey turner you can see the back has a 1952 tops back also it's just not the same size as a 1952 tops 52 tops were slightly larger than today's baseball cards but anyway, yeah, we're going to break 2018 Chronicles. I bought an entire 16-box case. And the nice thing about Chronicles is in every single hobby box, there's three autographs and a relic. So we're going to get lots of hits in that. Also, I'll do Topps Holiday as well. You can go on over to eBay and check that out after the video or now if you wanted to also. Um, Christian Villanueva is our last one there. All right, next pack. I don't know when I'm going to break it, though. Um, I don't know if I should do it on Thanksgiving or the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Maybe you can let me know in the comments when the best time is, because I usually like to do them midweek. Um, I don't know if everyone's busy on Thanksgiving. I don't want to do a case break, and there's just me and maybe like two other people watching. But sometimes on Thanksgiving, there's nothing to do, and you find yourself sitting around... 
after dinner. So maybe that could be your entertainment for a little while. All right, next pack. I saw Nolan Ryan on the back, which is pretty cool. Still haven't found our autograph yet. There's a John Smoltz. Ozzy Albies rookie card. Michael Conforto. And here is the Nolan Ryan in his Houston Astros uniform. Just bought a Nolan Ryan card the other week off of eBay. Still have to open that one up. I was thinking about maybe doing a uh, an eBay uh, mail day video and just opening up all my packages from the past week or two in a video. All right, here's our next pack. We have Paul Blackburn, Jackson Stevens rookie card, Buster Posey, Dom Smith, and there's something on the back here. What is this? Featured artist. I guess these are the guys that drew many of these cards, um, or maybe not, but I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's really worth anything or if it's just an insert. Next pack we have, on the top we have a Giancarlo Stanton. And then, ooh, I saw those laces. And for a second, when I was going like that, I thought, is that an autograph? But no, that's just a Jordan Hicks. Guy throws consistently over 100 miles an hour. Also got Mike Matheny in a little bit of trouble because I think Jordan Hicks was being bullied by Bud Norris. And uh, Mike Matheny wasn't doing too much about it. But that's all hearsay. But Mike Matheny did get canned. And, oh, Shoei Otani leads things off here in this pack. Shoei Otani rookie card. I wonder how many variations or how many different Shoei Otani rookie cards there are because it seems like the card companies are definitely taking advantage of his popularity. I would bet you there's at least 20-some different Shoei Otani rookie cards out there that you could buy. But that is a nice one, Shoei Otani posing with his bat. Let's see what the back says. Um, has his Japanese pitching record. I also forgot to show you the back of these cards. Um... You would think maybe since this was being released now that they might have had the 2018 stats on the back, but still 2017, although they do have some notes from the 2018 season. I guess we'll have to wait till 2019 tops um, in January to get those 2018 stats on there. Kyle Farmer, there's a Hideki Matsui and Miles Michaelis rookie card. So we're almost halfway through. And we still haven't found our autograph yet. I'll be pretty mad if there's no autograph in here. I better get two autographs because that what that's what was advertised on the box. I like this card a lot. Glaber Torres, rookie card. I collect all the big rookies from this year. I think this is a really good rookie class with Torres, Otani, and so on and so forth. Reese Hoskins, and Duhar, Acuna. So many good players to collect. Walker Bueller. All right, next pack. And by the way, we are down to... This is our 10th pack, and we still haven't found the autograph. Getting a little bit nervous. Chipper Jones, Max Freed, Brandon Woodruff, and now we have Clayton Kershaw, 1952, Topps Heritage. Um, kind of looks a little bit weird on the um, artistry there. Um, and then Evan Longoria. Next pack. I'm trying not to rush. I'm, I really want to get to these autos and see... Who we get, Frank Thomas, Bryce Harper. That would have been nice to get a Bryce Harper autograph. Then Garrett Cooper, rookie card. Trey Turner. This is a nice-looking Randy Johnson. The big unit is one of those Hall of Fame gallery cards. And a Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Still looking at that 1990 Topps Rack Pack box that I bought at a flea market about a month ago. And every time I see it, I want to just open it up and see if I can find the Frank Thomas No Name on Front rookie card, which is the second most valuable card that you can get out of 1990 Tops. The first being the George H.W. Bush card, which only 100 were made. And I think they were made specifically for President Bush, but some of them escaped from the White House somehow, some way. Raphael Devers rookie card is pretty nice. Where's my autographs? Wow. We only have six packs left after this one. Well, I guess we are saving the best for last. I guess that's better than hitting the autographs in the first two packs and everyone closing out the video and not watching the rest of it, right? All right, so Anthony Banda and Wilson Contreras. 
I do not know where these autographs are. Adrian Beltre is on the back of this one. All right, Luke Weaver, Mike Fultonavich. Okay, I think we might have an autograph because it's upside down. Jose Urena, Urania, sorry. And our autograph, I'm, I'm pretty much guaranteeing this is our autograph. It has to be. It's upside down. Usually that happens um, when it is an insert. It is a Miles Michaelis autograph rookie card. Very nice. Okay, at least it's a rookie card, and it is a pretty darn good player, Miles Michaelis. Um, you can see there it says certified autograph issue. So if you're a Cardinal fan, you probably like him a lot. And here is the back. Talks about his all-star game uh, selection in 2018 and also how he dominated the Japanese league. He was also a member of the Pirates for a little while. When I say a little while, I mean just a little while. I think it was a paper move only, and it didn't last. He never actually played in a game with the Pirates, but that's pretty cool. I will set that aside. I should probably have that on camera in the background. All right, next one. Still have one more autograph to find in here, and we might have found it. No, it's just one of those 1952 cards, which still are pretty cool. I love 1952 Topps cards. I would love to get the Mickey Mantle. One of these days, I will get that Mickey Mantle. I don't care if it's like torn apart and taped back together and I have to pay a thousand bucks for it or whatever. I will get that 1952 Toss Mickey Mantle. Reese Hoskins, another one of the great rookies from the 2018 class. All right, just four packs left. It'd be nice to pull a Shoya Otani, Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, a really big name autograph. And not like a Troy Scribner autograph, but we'll see. All right, we have me. Uh, what is this? Looks like we have some sort of parallel with a green border coming up. So let's get these base cards out of the way first. Miguel Gomez, Clint Frazier rookie card. We'll have to see if he gets any opportunity next year. Aaron Judge. And this one is a Dylan Cousins. Very nice. Dylan Cousins has an absolute ton of power. The guy was putting balls into the river with ease at PNC Park this past year in batting practice. And it is numbered out of 99. So that is pretty nice. Glad that my numbered card in here was a rookie card. Dylan Cousins. All right. Three packs left. One of them has an autograph. Just um, do this one. And let's see what we have here. Babe Ruth's on the back. Man, I'd love to have a Babe Ruth autograph. Looks like um, no auto in here. It's just base cards based on the uh, way the cards are facing. We have Victor Caratini, Ian Happ. I like Ian Happ. He is a from the Pittsburgh area. This is a private issue card, Harrison Bader. Um, it is numbered out of... 250 so that's pretty cool another numbered rookie card harrison bader and babe ruth pretty awesome all right here is our next to last pack hoping for something good looks like we're going down to the wire here with that last autograph all right we have trevor story leading things off and we have our autograph in this one because the card is upside down. That's how we know. So, Trevor Story, Richard Urania, Ryan Sandberg, and our autograph is, let's see if I can figure it out, based off of the bottom here. All right, it is a batter with a 329 career average. That's pretty good. Um, uh, I don't know. 32 career home runs, so it's a younger player. Let's just do it. It is Austin Hayes. Rookie card, Austin Hayes. That must be his minor league stats. Yes, it is minor league stats. Faked me out there for a second. So two rookie cards that were my autographs, Austin Hayes from the Orioles and also Miles Michaelis. So if you're an Orioles fan, you probably like this card a lot. I'm going to put that one aside right there. And the other cards in here were, in case you're wondering, I already showed you these ones, Will Clark and Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer. Not a Hall of Famer, but Will Clark was one of the dominant players of the late 80s, early 90s. 
And our final pack, not expecting an autograph. We have that bubble burst, but we will have some base cards, maybe a numbered card, maybe a private issue card. Let's see. Oh, nice. That pack was worth it after all. Ronald Acuna Jr. So we got two of the best rookies you can find. We got Acuna Jr. and Shoyo Tani. Very nice. Happy about that. Jose Barrios. Juan Soto. How about that? Juan Soto rookie card. Juan Soto wasn't in 2018 Topps Holiday. You could only find him in the autograph set, not in the base set. So this was a pretty good box for rookie cards. Chris Sale is our final card. We got Soto. We got Acuna. We got Hoskins numbered out of 99. We got Otani. And our autographed cards are, just to recap in case for some reason you missed it, maybe you were going to my box break and weren't watching, in another tab, we got Miles Michaelis and Austin Hayes were our two autograph cards, so I will sleeve these up. And if you'd like to buy all of these cards, I think I'm going to throw them on eBay uh, if anyone's interested in buying the entire lot of these. So look for those on there, and we will try to do that case break of 2018 Panini Chronicles sometime this coming week, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. For me, if I had to pick, I would pick Thanksgiving just because I think a lot of people are kind of bored on Thanksgiving. But, I mean, you can let me know in the comments when the best day is. We'll do Panini Chronicles and also 2018 Topps Holiday, which is chock full of relic cards. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and subscribing and commenting. And I will see you tomorrow. Hey, everybody. The giveaway for November is pretty good. We're going to have two winners instead of just one. All you have to do to enter is comment in my videos. Every comment is an entry. Just make sure the comments are of substance and not just saying the same thing over and over again or just numbers or whatever. So here's the prizes you can win. An unopened box of 2018 Topps Update Hobby Edition with an autograph in it. A 2015 Donruss Hobby Edition box unopened with three hits in it autographs or relics uh, an unopened box of 2016 don russ with a guaranteed autograph or memorabilia card in there a 2011 rookie card of jose altuve that usually goes for 20 to 30 bucks on ebay that's for my personal collection and a jacob de grom jersey if you'd like that it still has tags on it and it's a 125 dollar jersey again all you have to do is comment on all my videos throughout the month thank you for watching everybody and i will see you later